Okay, here I want to actually show you an example of how I use the history panel, or how I can use the history panel. Um, here I've gone ahead and kind of created a little illustration here. And it's very rough, and I'll actually go through a demonstration of this. But for this demonstration, we're just going to, I just wanted to show you how the history panel can be used um, to uh, work uh, character designs and different ideas you might have. Um, but what I've done here is just, like I said, created this illustration, and I can kind of back up here now. Since I've set this, the history set to 300 steps, um, I can actually back up and kind of see how I did it um, over time here. And uh, if there's a certain step that I want to save, then I would, of course, go into the um, new snapshot and, and save that snapshot out. But um, let's see how far back I can go here. Uh, so if I go to the top here, you'll see it's actually... Um, it goes far uh, back pretty far actually so um, so you can just kind of see how I've uh, kind of worked this uh, illustration out um, as I scroll through the steps here and but what I want to show you is towards the bottom here I'm gonna go ahead and save this step out as a, as a, a new snapshot so I'll go ahead and click uh, face I'll call this face one click OK so that's gonna be now in there now what I want to do is actually just push this uh, design a little bit further and let's say we wanted to bring some more teeth in here let's say on the bottom and we bring these down a little bit so he's more like uh, grit in his teeth maybe we want to give him more of a, a, a mean look here so we'll go ahead and bring his uh, eyebrow down here go ahead and bring up the opacity a little bit maybe we'll bring a little more white in here and we'll do the same for over here, just to give them a little more of a mean, mean look. And then uh, we just kind of come in here, and so I'm just uh, slowly trying to remodify this a little bit more. Now I'm bring some shadows into the eyes up here. Um, maybe bring more of a shadow down the nose here. Um, you know, I think you get the point, but let's go ahead and save out this now as its own snapshot. We'll call that phase two. And now you can see when I scroll up to the top here, I've got my phase one and then phase two. So you can see it's just a, a way to kind of see how you're, you're or you can basically save different uh, um, character profiles and then uh, keep pushing it a little bit more as you go uh, to get something more that you might like. And you can see I'm actually missing some ears on him, so we're going to go ahead and throw some ears on him here. And throw in some highlights, let's say. Uh, maybe we want to go ahead and make his mouth closed, possibly. And again, I'll, I'll show you how I go ahead, go ahead and design uh, my cartoon illustrations. Um, in a later tutorial, but uh, just to show you the process of the history panel, how that can be helpful. Maybe we'll go ahead and make it closed here and bring in some more highlights here. <clears throat> and then maybe we want to bring in the lip. Something to do like that. Yeah, I'll just bring this down a little bit. And maybe we'll go ahead and open this back up. Maybe we want this really wide. And we can do that. And usually when I design a uh, cartoon, uh, my characters uh, in Photoshop, uh, Photoshop's great for, uh, you know, concept sketching. Um, and I really like the way, that, you know, layers you can have the layers of the um, the transparency with the brushes. Um, so and we'll just come in here a little bit. We're, I'm not sure what I want to do here, but uh, just so you can kind of see the process here. Maybe we'll even bring his mouth down a little bit back here. And then we'll just show just a little bit of the teeth. Something along those lines. 
Um, again, so I can open this up a little bit. I think what we do is pupil here. And just bring that shine back in. And something like that. So, you know, I could probably spend a little more time on here, but we're going to go ahead and state, save this state out now. So, new stamp shot, we'll call this face three. So now we have our face one, two, and three. So you can see it's a great way to actually do facial animations. Um, but yeah, I mean, it just allows you to kind of push your illustration a little bit further as you go. Um, maybe this one is the one you kind of like the most, and then you can kind of use this one as your starting point when you create this illustration or, or uh, want to add more to it. Um, so I'm not really liking this one too much, so I might just go ahead and scrap that. And you can just delete these two by just right-clicking and just hitting delete. It'll ask you if you want to delete, and we'll say yeah. So then it'll be gone. And again, um, these won't save um, when you do save your document, just to keep that in mind. But it just allows you to kind of work through your document then and try different things. And uh, I think that'll be it for the, the history panel.